Welcome back. It's 5.51, uh, 6.51 that is. Time for your morning news now. A Hudson area elementary school teacher is in custody on child sexual assault, assault charges. 24-year-old Madison Bergman, a teacher at Rivercrest Elementary, is charged with one count of first-degree child sexual assault of someone under the age of 13. The criminal complaint details inappropriate text messages between her and an 11-year-old student. The student told investigators he and Bergman kissed multiple times and talked about having sex. Bergman is held on a $25,000 bond. If found guilty, she could face up to 60 years in prison. Heads up for lacrosse drivers. If you use Bliss Road, you'll need to find an alternate route next week. According to the city of lacrosse, the road will be closed from the base of the bluff at 29th Street South all the way to the intersection of Grandad Bluff Road near Alpine Inn. Crews will perform maintenance on stormwater infrastructure there. The road will be closed every day next week from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. If you have any questions on the project, you can call the number on your screen. The city of La Crosse could get rid of all off-street parking minimums in residential zones. Right now, most cities nationwide require a minimum number of off-street parking options for each development. They differ depending on the property. The city's Neighborhood Revitalization Commission says off-street parking reduces housing, so eliminating or reducing minimums could inspire developers to generate more housing and therefore more tax revenue. A 2020 study found the city's densest areas had enough parking at all times. It'll be likely months before any proposals reach the city council. Happening today, UWL students will hold a rally for Palestine this afternoon on campus. Protesters will start making signs at 1230 today for the 2 p.m. rally at UWL's clock tower. News 8 will have a crew at the rally. We will update you throughout the day. And a quick heads up, if you see first responders, Rushing toward Cashton Elementary School around 10 o'clock this morning. Don't worry, it's just a drill. The Cashton Fire Department, Tri-State Ambulance, Cashton Police, and Monroe County Sheriff's Office are among the agencies conducting a mock crash exercise in front of the school. So if you see those emergency vehicles, just know it's a practice scenario, not an actual emergency. Summer officially on its way as the annual Cameron Park Farmers Market returns to downtown La Crosse. The market is every Friday in May till October from 4 p.m. till dusk. 30 vendors are signed up for this year's market. There are still spots available if you'd like to sell your items. Vendors are selling everything from farm fresh produce to artisan goods and crafts. One organizer says it's a good opportunity for people to connect. Everybody wants to come down and just see their favorite farmers and local vendors that they see every week to get uh, local produce, things that they like to eat. In addition to the traditional vendors, there'll also be food trucks and live music. Black says they're also planning on adding some new activities for the kids this year. You can find more information about the market on our website. And some weekend events to tell you about now. The Chippewa Valley Theater Guild is performing Oliver at the Pablo Center. Shows tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday at 7.30 p.m. and a Monday matinee at 1.30. On Saturday, the Lacrosse Club will host a Kentucky Derby Party fundraiser for Rotary Lights. That'll start at 4 p.m. and feature Southern food, mint juleps, and live derby viewing. Then on Sunday, join Big Brothers Big Sisters for the second annual Pites for Kids Sake Pub Crawl in downtown Lacrosse, starting at 2 p.m. at Earl's Grocery. $20 gets you an event t-shirt and bar hopping. It's a foggy start to our Friday. In fact, a live look through City Cam will show uh, not much visibility here in downtown La Crosse, and this fog is widespread. Many locations seeing visibility uh, below a half mile, even an eighth of a mile or less in many spots. So just because you're not technically under the dense fog advisory, uh, suffice it to say that many counties surrounding this uh, could probably be under that as well with the thick fog in play. Once it mixes out, a beautiful day, sunny to partly cloudy, warmer, 72 for the high. A period of rain tomorrow, an isolated thunderstorm as well, 61, and then dry and back to sunshine on Sunday, highs around 70.